Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for my Turn and Burn project. This is a Fantastic Ladies Cloud project and it was created by Jessica. So this is your first time here. Welcome. Grab a drink. This is a long video. I will leave timestamps down below. I go through a lot of stuff in this project. I like to focus on my deluxe size, like beauty, skincare, body care products. And I have a pretty extensive way that I do this. <laughs> I focus on, like I said, deluxe size samples. I have items I'm working on. I have items that I pull for my queue. I have items waiting in the queue. I review all of that stuff. And I also have foil samples, what I finished, what I'm working on, what I bring in. And then I also have perfume samples. So there's a, a, it's a long one. It's usually about an hour long. I can't keep it in. I can't do it any shorter. And there's a lot of stuff that I finished this month. Woo. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into it. Like I said, timestamps down below. Items I finished that I was working on, not from the queue. I finally finished this. The Pharmacy Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. I do like this. I have a specific purpose for this. It's more of like a salve product. I prefer their salve. I don't know if they still sell their salve. For the way that I used this, I prefer their salve. But I liked it for whenever like I was getting like the retinol uglies, which right on my nose is where I get it mostly. I like to put it here like at night whenever I was done with my skincare. I, I put a heavy dose of it right here. And I also used this on dry spots around my ears, but I prefer the salve here. This was great here. I don't know. I don't think I'll repurchase it specifically for that purpose, but it was nice. It worked well for that reason. I also finished this Laura Mercier, Mercier, whatever. Sorry, Valerie. The Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose, it's so hard to read this, Nourishing Oil. So it's this little baby sample. I used this just to add some oil to my beauty sponge before I applied foundation, so I didn't use it on my face. It was a nice oil. You know, I liked it for that purpose. I don't think I would purchase it for the face, but I liked it for that. I finished the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I find that this is way too expensive for what it is. I have toners that I really enjoy that are much less expensive than this. So it was fine. It was a toner. It was an essence. That's how I used it. An essence. I'm sure people love that, but I think it's okay. I have two of the same product. I finally finished these. I have two of the Aveda hand reliefs. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally. I pulled like three of these. Wait, I think I just have two of them now. But I pulled like these back to back to back to back to back. It was ridiculous. Mm, done. Beautiful hand cream. If you're looking for a hand cream. I love these. They're very nourishing. Just glad they're done. I have, let me do these. I have two other oils and I use them all the same way. The Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. I use this one for my beauty sponge as well. And I have the Youth to the People Maqui and Asai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. This does have a little bit of oil in there. I'm actually reusing this little jar on my vanity. It has some of the fresh sea berry oil in here so that I can add some drops to my sponge, beauty sponge. But I did finish what was in here, so I'm just gonna go back on my vanity. So those are done. I have a cleanser. I finished the Skin Laundry Gentle Foaming Face Wash. And this one is decent. It's not my favorite face wash, but it's not super stripping. I would not like purchase it. I think I may have a full size of this to be honest, but I prefer just a cleansing oil. I have a moisturizer. This is by Origins, the Vita Zing SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturizer with Mangosteen. I did not like this, so I would not purchase it. I didn't like it at all. Mm -mm. Nope. 
it's not a fan. And then I have a perfume. This is the only thing, the last thing I have that I was working on from the last update, the Toka Stella perfume. And this was okay. It was a bit too floral, floral in my opinion, for like my preferences, but it was a decent perfume. I mean, I'd wear it again. So those are the items that I was working on last month that I finished. Now items that I pulled from my queue that I finished. I have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion SPF 50. I love this SPF. It's actually going to go on my Sephora list for the VIB like rouge sale. I really do love this. Actually, I need to see if they have it at Ulta first because I prefer to buy it at Ulta because they have better points. This is beautiful. If you have oily skin, you would like it. But if you have dry skin, it's nice. <laughs> the Biosance Squalene and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. This is a, you know, a nice serum. I use Good Jeans, so I don't know. I don't feel like this is better than Good Jeans, but I think if you are new to lactic acid, I think this is a great place to start. The Kate Somerville Oil-Free Moisturizer. So I've had this in my collection a long time. It was fine. You know, I added some oil to it because I don't need oil. I want oil in my moisturizer. I wanted some oil to it. It was a daytime moisturizer for me. It was, you know, it was nice. A little runny, but it was fine. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was fine. It did, it did what it needed to do. And the last thing that I did not use, but I have to get rid of because it smells funky. <laughs> it's got an odor to it. It's by Exuviance. It's the Overnight Recovery Mask. I'm kind of sad. But I've had this in my collection forever. But I pulled this out and there's some funky smell in here. It's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. It's got to go. So declutter. Mm, no. It's not going to chance it. No. So items I am working on that were items I was working on last month. I have the Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. There is cat hair all over it. So here is the product. And I am down to about, well, if I can, here is about where I am. I cannot get all the cat hair off of it. This is a really nice retinol oil. I really do like it. I'm slowly using this. You know, once I, when I have the retinol uglies, I kind of slow my roll on the, the acids. And then once my skin like clears up a little bit, then I bring this back in. My, I just, it gets so bad around my nose. I don't want to, because your skincare travels, at least mine does, because I use some, there's hair everywhere. I use so many oils, like it just travels everywhere. So I try to give my skin a little bit of a break whenever I use my retinoid, retinol, retinoid, whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. Anyway, it's, I'm working on it. Maybe by the next update, I'll have it finished. And then I have two masks. I have, they're both by Peter Thomas Roth and they're both like 50 mils, right? This is a 50 mil. Where are you? Yeah, 50 mils. This is the 24 karat gold mask. And I don't, I'm trying to remember if I used this last month. I may not have used this last month. I know I've used it at least once, maybe twice. But I can't remember if I used it last month or not. But I've definitely used this one. This is the pumpkin enzyme mask. This sits in my shower. So I've definitely used this one a bunch. As you can see, there's a nice... Nice dip there in the center. I, you know, I've actually really enjoyed this in the shower. I, the last time I used it, I didn't love it, but I think using it in the shower, I prefer it that way because I leave it on for just a couple of minutes. It exfoliates, especially here when I, when I get the, you know, the dryness and the flaky skin. It's great for that. You know, I kind of use it the same way I would use the exfoliate. I like it. I'm enjoying it more and more. I'll say that. Yeah, those two masks I'm still working on from the items I was still working on from last month. And then items I pulled in from my queue, I have several items here. I have the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment Toner. This is an acid toner. I love this. I feel like I was working on this last month. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I don't, I can't tell where I am. Yeah, I'm like down to about, well, about here. 
I'm not going to mark it because I'll be hopefully done with this by the next update. So I'm close on this one. You know, there's about, I think, an, an ounce, one and a half ounces in here. Yeah. Oh, 1.7. There's 50 mils. So I'm close. I love this toner. It's my favorite. Holy grail. Love it. So once I finished that skin laundry cleanser, I brought this in. This is the Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel. So there's barely any use on this. I mean, I maybe used it twice and that's it. So just, just roll this in. It's, I mean, I, it's actually been in my shower for at least three weeks, <laughs> but I haven't used it very much. I've really been focusing on my Bobbi Brown cleansing oil, I'm trying to really focus on that because it's huge and it needs to get used. So this has kind of been sitting in the wings, but you know, every once in a while, I'll, like I said, twice in the last month. Okay. This one I've used here and there. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful oil, but I've got so many different serums I'm working on right now. This is the May Lindstrom, the youth do when my skin needs the extra hydration. I bring this in. We just, we've had some cold spells, where my skin has been super dry. We have one coming up and I'm sure I'll use this then. But there are some days where I really just don't need this much hydration. Like sometimes it's too much and I get like little white, like white heads here. And that's when I'm like, okay, my skin doesn't need any more hydration. <laughs> Stop. But this is a glorious oil. I have like this much left. So maybe like two or three uses. I mean, I usually do a full droppers worth and I'm guessing there's probably two or three full droppers worth left in here. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. That little thing lasted forever. <laughs> Keeps going. I have the glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask. And this has, I mean, it's, it's taking me a while to get through it. I, I've been using it for several weeks now. I only use this at night because I have another product I'm using during the day. So I don't want to take away from trying to finish that up because I'm really close. So this one, you know, I'm, it's taking me some time. It's a thicker product. So it's not, I mean, and maybe it's because I've had, I don't think I've had this one that long, but it seems to be a thicker product. You know, it's, it's nice. I don't love it, but it's nice. I don't hate it either. And I have, I just worked on, started working on this today. I probably have one more use on it. The Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So uh, like I said, I'll have this done by the end of the week. I mean, it really just has one more use. So it'll be done soon. And then I have not started using this yet, but I am pulling it in. It'll be the next perfume I use in my little rotation that I go, that I have going on. The Toka perfume in Giulietta, Giulietta. This is probably a floral as well. Oh, this one seems to be a more full, like a, a more heavier floral than Stella. Stella had a bit of a, I feel like it had a bit of a citrus note to it. This one seems to be like pure floral. So we'll see about that one. So those are all the items I am working on. Now, items in my queue. So I have the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. These are items I haven't started working on, of course. Still waiting to be used. The Amor Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. To be honest, I don't think I'll start working on this until I finish that Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme peel mask thing. I think this I'll I think I'll probably use that in this the same way. The Ren Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. I think I thought I was going to roll this in last month because I didn't have a sleeping mask, but I still do. So this hasn't been rolled in yet. I have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I totally kind of forgot that I had this. So as soon as I finish the Aveeno, I'm rolling this one in. There is not that much in here. I mean, so good. 
I have the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. I have not rolled this in because I have two like hydrating masks I'm working on that are in tubes. I'm trying to finish one at least before I roll this in. And so that those are prior, those are like in projects that are a priority. So I just want to finish at least one of them and it's close. So until I finish that, this will not get rolled in. So it's kind of hanging out in the wings. And then I have one little moisturizer. I kind of want to get some use on my old Henriksen moisturizer, but this is probably going to go traveling with me now that I think about it, because this is teeny tiny. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Ultra Hydrant Soothing Repair Moisturizer. And I did find out from somebody down below who wrote a comment that this, this little cap thingy, I think you can flip it around and stick it back in the tube. I did not even think about that. Thank you. Genius. So this will go on my trip whenever I travel. I'm traveling next week. So I'll take that with me. And then I have two perfumes. So they will probably wait until like this gets rolled out. I'm kind of, I'm, I think I mentioned this before. I have a little bit of a rotation where I've got my Tom Ford, no, YSL Black Opium my elizabeth and james i've got another i've got a nirvana bourbon that i'm working on full size and the oh i just finished one so a deluxe size so that one's out and then i've got this this size perfume so one of these three and then one of the little perfume samples so i rotate through four one each day so the one i'm working on now is this one so once this gets finished then i will roll one of these in and it's probably going to be the nest because like i said i'm working on a full size of this <laughs> yeah so i've got anyway nest black tulip and i do i was going to pull this in but i have to clean out all of my atomizers this is a roll. i'm not gonna do a roll bro mm -mm. i will wait until i have i need to clean out my atomizers or or if I don't clean them out, I will go buy atomizers on Amazon. <laughs> and then I have Elizabeth and James, like I said, Nirvana bourbon. So those are the items in the queue. So now I need to figure out how many items to bring in. Okay. I need a new chair. This chair is making my foot fall asleep. Okay. So these I'm not going to like count count towards like queue items because they're like waiting for things to be finished. This is waiting for something to be finished. This is waiting for something to be finished. This will count the mask. This is waiting for something to be finished. This will count. So we have two. I'm going to pull five. That's a nice number, right? Okay, we're picking five. Sorry. I went back into my list and updated it. <laughs> Took me some time. So we're doing five. Let's see what we get. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Funny story about that one. It came like as an accident in one of my Sephora orders. I will use it. Oh, nice. I'm excited. BioEffect EGF Serum. So that came in one of my advent calendars last year. Okay, that's two. Drunk Elephant DeBronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. I've had that a very long time. I wonder if it's any good. We're going to see. Okay, that's three. Four is the Derma E Microderm Abrasion Scrub. I think I pulled that into my 100 Colorful Empties, so that'll be good. And then our last one is the Avant Sumptuous Glycolic Avid hand balm. Did I spell that right? And I think that was also part of my advent calendar. 
from last year. Okay, let me grab these and I'll be right back. I'm happy there were no perfumes, although there is a hand cream, but we don't have any hand creams left. Okay, so we have the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. And this is 15 mils. So it shouldn't take me too long to finish this. I don't know if this would be a daytime or nighttime for me, to be honest. I don't know. The th I mean, I'm working on, that looks pretty thick. So this may be an evening moisturizer. I may take this with me when I travel. I'm showing you the back. I may take this with me when I travel. So we'll see about that uh, after the La Roche Posay. I have the Avant Glycolic Capric Sumptuous Glycolic Acid Hand Balm. Yeah, I think I spelled that wrong on my, in my spreadsheet. This one. What does it say? Usage. Place a small amount into, onto the palm and work well into the areas of the hand. Pay special attention to the nail and cuticles. Nails and cuticles. So, all right. I'm interested in how well it, like, like the glycolic acid part of this works. Age defy is what it says. So we'll try that out. Next, I have the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. I've had this one a really long time. A long time we'll see if it's still okay I mean I kind of would use it the same way as I use that pumpkin enzyme mask I don't know we'll see we'll see if I decide to go ahead and pull this one in in its place because it's much older I might do that we'll see The last item I have is another old product. That's, I've had this forever. The Drunk Elephant DeBronzy Anti-Pollution Sun, Sunshine Serum. I don't even know if they still have this. I wanted it so bad. I wanted to try it so bad. And then I got the sample and then I never used it. Let's see. Will it come out? Did it all dry up in there? Oh, wait. So when we came out. Wait, does it smell funny? Oh, that smells funny. <laughs> that smells funky. Declutter. Yep, yeah, smells like crayons. Nope. <sighs> Don't let stuff sit in your collection, guys. Funky. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Declutter. One more. Okay, Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I know I used one of these, but I don't know if I have another one. Let me go look. Hold on. So I swear to God, when I'm like, I'm just going to do that update. I'm going to power through. It won't take me that long. Something crazy happens and it ends up taking me so long to do it. I was just in the bathroom looking for this Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And a bottle of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, fell out of my cabinet on the floor and like busted. And now I had alcohol all over the floor. <sighs> Murphy's Law. Okay. Couldn't find it. I must have used it. I'll probably end up finding it later. So we're going to pick one more. A Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Okay, I know I have that. Perfect. Here we go. This is a really nice moisturizer. It looks perfect. I'm actually using a full size of this now, but this will be a great travel moisturizer. Love it. Okay, we have all of my little minis set up. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm going to pull out the foil samples that I was working on and I finished and all that good stuff. Hmm foil samples that I finished. So I have several here. I have kind of been saving the ones that I have for whenever I do go on trips because I can use them. So with the ones I did finish, 
Um, I just used this yesterday, I think. The Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer and Base. This was nice. It was like a hydrating primer. I didn't hate it. I have the Youth of the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. I took this with me on a trip. I don't really love this cleanser, but it was fine for like a one day use. The Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly and it had the activating cartridge concentrate for like fatigue. And this was fine too. I you know used it one time, didn't hate it. The Pharmacy I Do. I love the way, I love the way they name their stuff. This was a nice eye cream. It took me forever to use. I mean, this has three mils. No, 1.5 mils, not three. 1.5, the Belief one had three. And when you think about a, like a, a jar of eye cream, it's, I think it's usually 15 mils. So, I mean, it still took me a, like, almost a, the full month to use. It took forever. I have the Sunday Rally Good Jeans. This was nice for whenever I went on, on my trip, work trip. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I used this the other day as well. And I have the Not Your Mother's Shampoo, the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Shampoo and Conditioner. And let's see, I used up the Estee Lauder like primer. This took several days because you don't need the whole thing. It took like several, several days. And I have two lip products. This one was a feat. This was the NARS Audacious Lipstick and Audrey. I did finish this. I finally found, like, figured out the name of the company that used to do these. Jen Reviews Makeup. I think that's her channel. Oh, no, it's going to drive me crazy, is it? I know I said that wrong. Jen Love. She was talking about, oh, I, some subscription service, I think. I think some company's updating, doing something similar to this company. And it's it was called... So the subscription, like it was a subscription service and it was called, it was spelled, it was a, it was a French word, C-H-O-I-X. So schwa, so schwa, S-H-O-I-X. Anyway, that's who would do these little, that's, I have a bunch of these. They are long gone, but I think there's somebody, there's like a subscription company that's coming back and doing something similar. But this com that company is so schwa went out of business or something. Anyway, the other one that I am calling finished because it has like one use left. It's the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. And yeah, I have one use left in here. If I can get it open. Yeah, there's like one use left in there. So it's, I'm calling that done. Calling it done. I'm actually going to put it in my vanity so I can finish it tomorrow whenever I do my makeup. I was so excited to get this one done. So those are the ones I finished. I didn't finish a ton. I thought I had, I thought I had finished more than this. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. I thought I had finished more. Now, some that I'm working on, I do have this Dior lipstick open in the shade 999. So I barely used it, but I have dipped into it. And I also have dipped into this. I think this is Ex-Girlfriend by Urban Decay. So we have two lip products going. And then the other product that I am working on is this foundation by Stila. I'm trying to work on the dark shade because I'm pairing it with the Pure Lease BB cream that I'm working on. I actually mixed it today with that BB cream. It may be a little bit light or a dark. Maybe it have been a little bit too dark. I don't know, maybe. But anyway, so that's how I'm doing on this one. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh well. It pairs better with my L'Oreal foundation because that's really light for me right now. But anyway, I'm working on that. The other items I have that I haven't touched yet, the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. And this is an American Woman. The Mary Kay Miss Porfect Mask Pod. The MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. The, let's see, Secret Key 24 Karat Gold Premium First Cream. I still have this Neutrogena Retinol Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. It's a capsule. I keep meaning to use that. The Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. Oh, I took this with me on my trip and I forgot to use it. The L'Occitane Supple Skin Oil. And I really want to try these. I'm scared to open this because then it's like open and I need to like grab something to seal it. The Drunk Elephant O Blues Rosy Drops. And the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Another item I can take with me on my trip. Work trips. So, oh, and then I also have the Guerlain Meteorites, which I finally put into this It, oh shoot, it Cosmetics sifter, like powder sifter that's empty. So they're in here now. I just put them in there today. I was like, oh, I need to move these finally. So they're in here. And then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade, dip pomade. And I can't remember the shade. Medium brown, maybe. But I really want to get some serious, like, progress made on my pencil that I'm working on. So this is going to hang out for a little while. Okay, so let me see how many I have here. I have, I'm going to choose 10. No lip products. Because I still have eight. And I didn't show you the ones I'm working on. So I have the Dior Rouge New, New Lipstick in Red Smile, Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Sheer Anarchy, Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss in Backtalk, the YSL G G Slim Glow Matte Lipstick in Insurgent Red, Shiseido Visionary Gel Lipstick in Future Shock. Oh yeah, this is the Honest Beauty lip gloss and inspired kiss and then again this is the urban decay lipstick and ex-girlfriend okay so we're picking 10 here's my bag so no brow or lip products allowed i'm saying no to brows because i have this and this will take me forever to use one two Three, three, four, five, six, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> same shit. Eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Why? Okay. Lord help me. <laughs> okay, I have the Guerlain Double and Renew Repair Serum. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. I think I tried before and I was like, nope, not going to do it. So here's what it looks like on the back. Oh, there, oh, there's like freaking 10 in here. <laughs> Eight. I guess you mix the two together. Yeah, I think you mix the two together because you cut it and you mix the two together. All right. This is counting as eight. I mean, there's eight in here. <laughs> I will have to bring this in when I'm done with a 
like a serum I'm working on. I don't know if this is better in the evening or the morning. But, and the reason why I say this, I've got one like daytime serum, like treatment serum that I am really close to finishing. And I may bring this in to replace it, like, you know, just to use them up. So I may do that. Perfect timing. I mean, I'm literally, I should have it done within a week. So that'll be good. Okay, very exciting. I have the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. The Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. Oh, that sounds very nice. Hmm. <laughs> skin, 86% said skin was moisturized after use. Very excited about that. Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. I mean, I like this product, but no. Going back in. And no. <laughs> no. The Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. This has 1.5 mils, so again, it's probably gonna take me forever to use. <laughs> I've used two so far. I did use two this month. My goal is to use at least one every month. I'm I'm doing it. The Amore Pacific Time Response Eye Reserve Cream. So we have another eye cream. This is one mil. I have the Cover FX Yellow Correct Stick. I don't know. I, we'll see. <gasps> I have a foundation by NARS. So actually this has like several products in here. It has several foundations and then some concealer, I think. Yeah. The Longwear, no, I'm sorry, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So let's get those in there. So I don't know what to do with this. I may just bring this whole thing in and then whatever I use, you know, I'll use. If I use two, I'll use two. If I use one, I'll use one. Um, I may try to use one of the concealers too, we'll see. But at least want to use, I want to use at least one item from this packet. The Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Oh, pack it. And lastly, the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser with Moringa and Papaya. Mo Moringa, right? Okay, so those are all the items I'm bringing in. And then as far as items I want to fit, like lip products I want to finish. So I definitely am going to work on finishing Ex-Girlfriend. And I mean, I have the red, but I'm, I'd be very surprised if I finish it, but I want to work on it. So I'm going to try to use half of what's in here. And maybe I can also bring in this Shiseido because it looks like it's starting to dry out. So I'll bring in the Shiseido. So I'll put the Shiseido and the ex-girlfriend and I'll bring these three in to work on. Yeah, for lip products. And I'll try, I'm going to at least finish ex-girlfriend. Okay, so those are the foil samples. <laughs> okay, so for perfumes, I do have three items that I rolled out. I feel like I have a cat hair right here. Do I? So I have a Sephora sample that I have no idea what this was. Something. Anyway, I don't remember. It seemed okay, but I, I could be, I would be lying to you if I said yes, it was amazing or no, it was sucked. <laughs> the next one I have is by Fleur and it is the sh scent, oh, not shade, Ameline. Oh, this was beautiful. I didn't buy this scent when I think Sephora had all the Fleur scents on sale and I didn't buy this one, but I really did like it. I have a Hanami, but this Ameline is 
Nice. I don't feel like it smells good when you first spray it on, but the dry down is really, I mean, I really liked it. And then the last one I have, I just finished this today by Marc Jacobs. It's Daisy Dream. It's not something I'll repurchase. It's, I think, a, yeah, I just wasn't a fan. I have several here. Now, to be honest, I think I've pulled all these. <laughs> Somehow I have still have 11 here. Like, I must have pulled extras last month, right? Okay. Anyway. So let me show share with you what I have. I have, oh, what is this? Nirvana French Grey. This is a Sephora sample that was poured way back when you could still do that. I have an Erin perfume. This is Rose de Grasse. I think that's how you say that. I have Ellis Brooklyn Salt. And that looks like I have used, I think I've used some of this. I may be making that up. I have F Pharrell Williams Girl. I have, oh, I think I've sprayed some of this as well. YSL Mon Paris. I've definitely sprayed some of this. This is, oh, maybe not. Not this one. I'm thinking of a different one. Where is my, and now I don't know where my Ombre Marquis, Marquis is. That's busty. I don't know where that is. It's not here. It's probably in my purse. Oh, or it's in my travel bag. I don't know. <laughs> Marc Jacobs Decadence. Sometimes I'm like, were these all ones I pulled in? Or did, like, they somehow magically appear in my little cat thing? I don't know. I did find this one. This was in my, my purse purse. This is the Tory Burch perfume that I couldn't find last month. And this, it does have some use on it. So this one I'll probably start using next and it'll probably be done for sure. The next one I'll finish. I have the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Incense. This one, it's a little struggle for me to use because it's a dropper. I don't use droppers very easily. I have Versace Dylan Blue. And I don't think I've used, I mean, this one's actually down to here. So some of these do have fairly decent use on them. I have Dior Sauvage. <laughs> oh, Stella McCartney Pop. Kind of like not, don't want to like not bring something in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But I think I have 12. Oh, screw it. I'm going to bring in three more. I'm going to call 15. Whatever. So I'm kind of being lazy today because I don't have them all in a bag. I have, have like separated them out into like three different Bath and Body Works candle like and jars. <laughs> so I just grabbed one. I don't have them separated out in any way. I'm just going <laughs> to dip one, two, I mean three. I'll pick another one next time. I have, what is this one? This is another Stella McCartney, but I can't tell what it is. It's just Stella. Stella McCartney, Stella. Well, this one's empty. <laughs> it used to be Neroli Portofino. I must have sprayed most of it or it dried up. Oh. So we don't, I'll pick another one. And this one's all dried up too. Well, this was vanilla incense. I already have that one. Okay, so we have two. One. Two. One fell on the floor. Jo Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt. And we have Giorgio Armani, Sea Passioni. So whenever I travel for work, I like to pick the ones that I know smell good on me. And so like sometimes like I'll save, for example, I'll save the Brooklyn Ellis or Ellis Brooklyn salt. I'll probably save the Ombre Maquis for whenever I travel and maybe the Joe Malone and the French Grey. So these will be in my like travel bag but the rest of these I will cycle through for like home whenever I'm in my home office and I'll like I said I'll probably pull in the Tory Burch first 
since it's got very little I mean, that's half used. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, this is turn and burn. <laughs> Grab a drink. <laughs> it's turn and burn. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for do. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. <laughs> mm. I finished the skin to, no, no. I have the NARS Power Pigment. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The NARS Power Pig, oh my gosh. The Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Flacial. <laughs> Hour and 30 minutes in. Starting to get punchy. Bye.